who is the real wide receiver you and DBU over the past 25 years? It has to be LSU on both with just the sheer quantity and quality standpoint. Although this year, LSU was far with a whole bunch of R's from DBU. They still set the standard. With Edo and Les Miles, they produced Honey Badger, Pat Pete, Trey White, and Derek Stingley. On the wide receiver U front, it's LSU without argument. They produced the three best wide receiver rookie seasons of all time in the last 10 years. The argument should be made at that. Um, I think LSU has a very good argument for both. I think the idea that nobody has an argument for wide receiver U other than LSU is a bit misguided because yes. – I think there's a reason our friend chose 25 years and didn't choose the last five years or 10 years. Because if you look around, I think Ohio State's had quite a few first round picks at wide receiver who have turned out to be pretty good in the NFL too. And I think they might have another one coming up here in a month or so. So I think Ohio State does have a claim, but I do think, yeah, long-term, I mean, LSU because Jordan Jefferson, Odell Beckham, you're adding Malik Neighbors. They might have two first-round picks this year between Neighbors and Brian Thomas. So long-term, for sure, I would go LSU with wide receivers. I mean, for DBU, I mean, it's interesting. What do you say, 20 years? Because mm -hmm. we're omitting the greatest defensive back ever to play the game, who we already talked about. We're, you know, we're omitting some guys that were pretty incredible players. Terrell Buckley followed him. That was pre-20 years ago. Um, Florida State's had a nice run. I kid. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're in the top, but they've, but a, a recent history. Um, is LSU DBU for sure? Not lately. Not lately. And I think Alabama stayed consistent. Mm -hmm. Alabama has had a one, like a, it's top two in the secondary from basically since Saban got there. Feels like they've had a, a one or a two. It hasn't always been Minka Fitzpatrick, like generational talent. But whether it's Patrick Sertain, Kool-Aid McKinstry, I mean, you've just kind of had Sertain's pretty good. I mean, like, Patrick Sertain's awesome. He might, be, he might be a top three corner in the NFL right now. Um, so that's uh, I thought that Alabama might have something to say about the DBU. Their wide receiver U is only just one team, or well, not one team, but one era. You know, mm -hmm. that one picture. That one picture was just <laughs> loads and loads of talent on that wide receiver room. I don't definitely has not been that way since and before felt like you always just had one alpha, whether it was an Amari Cooper, or a Calvin Ridley, it's like the old Julio model. Then you'd sort of put the pieces around them. So I thought Alabama deserved a conversation with DBU, um, especially as they've been consistent where LSU had that high, high, high star power there for a run. You know who sent five defensive backs to the NFL in the last three drafts, including one top five pick? Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> Illinois. Do you know who used to be DBU? Florida. Oh, yeah. 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 We used to, this, that used to be it. Like Florida and LSU, they had their rivalry. And one of the things that you would hear some of the fans chirp at each other about is who's the real DBU? But I don't think, given the way that things have been five trending. years, yeah, uh, yeah, no, we just yeah, trending in general. I don't know if Florida State, I don't know if Florida, if we were to do a more recent snapshot, if they've got a good claim on the DBU. They I think, definitely have the uh, the players who throw shoes. You, Marco, <laughs> let's go, Marco Wilson. <laughs> I do think, like, in a way, like, you look at LSU and Florida, they both were for a while, and it's kind of faded in recent years, and I do wonder if there's just, like, a gravitational pull of the Alabama and Georgia defenses for defensive backs in the last few years and the way that they have recruited. I mean, still, LSU historically had been able to recruit that spot even while Alabama was great, but I wonder if Georgia being great now, too, is kind of what's impacting LSU and Florida when it comes to that. Because, like, Georgia, I think, goes along with what you were talking about with Alabama, Chip, where it's like there's nobody in their secondary where I think you look at and say, wow, generational, that guy is the top guy at his position in the NFL. But everybody in that secondary will play in the NFL. Yeah, they've been trending up. I, I don't know if Georgia has always been as awesome in the secondary, even in the Kirby era, as they've mm -hmm. been in the last couple of years, but it's gotten really, really good. Who do you think? No one, maybe it's because the nature of the positions, but no one really pounds the table for QBU. <laughs> like, I, I mean, but when I was coming out of high school, Miami was QBU. That was like one of the original. Mm -hmm. That was the first time you even heard the term. And they had stacked up a lot of guys 
who is the claim on QBU? I this Ohio do you know, State. Do you know who? Right now. Do you, do you know who for a little bit, like a, a hot minute, had more starting quarterbacks in the NFL, I think, than anybody else? Oklahoma. NC State had four or five at one time. Mm, yeah. With Russ, Phillip. Well, uh, Russ no. came from a whole pack of Badgers. Right, right, right. But it was like Phillip was still in the league. Russ was running hot. Mike Glennon was a starter. Um, and then Jacoby Brissett was a starter. You know, yeah. like. All of a sudden, they were sitting there with like four or five NC State former NC State quarterbacks all starting at the same time, and so yeah, they 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 threw out QBU. I don't know if it stuck nationally, but you know that well, was a uh, that was something that I Florida don't, I don't State remember. Florida State had the run of Jameis, uh, Ponder, uh, EJ Manuel, Christian Ponder, where they had three first round first three first rounders but they weren't playing great in the nfl so it kind of i think they stopped promoting it as much but like if your goal is to get a draft and get the opportunity i think it was smart i th I think right now i would go with oklahoma just because you've got kyler you've got baker you've yeah like you've had multiple and jalen hurts picks. jalen hurts although i mean alabama still claims some of it but it's just yeah and caleb williams i guess if oklahoma still wants to you know so <laughs> maybe it's a lincoln riley is qbu i don't know but yeah Yep, Lincoln Riley, QBU seven and five. All right, nothing, nothing better than being able to fly that banner. Uh, hey, there, what, that just shows a quarterback alone is worth seven wins. <laughs> yeah, if you surround him with absolutely wow. nothing else, you'll win at least seven games. <laughs> That's how good the Lincoln Riley offensive system is. You can have zero defense, still go to a bowl game. How about it? Um, anybody else for wide receiver? You. I mean, Alabama. We've I think we've covered most of the really. It was because I think Ohio State's the primary challenger here. Clemson had a great run there for a while. Yeah, remember the Sammy Watkins, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, T. Higgins. Mm -hmm. You know they've had they had a nice run. Mike so Williams. Was, Mike Williams. Uh, what's his face? The white kid. <laughs> Hunter um, Renfro. Like, I mean, he, he, I mean, he didn't get drafted high, but he was a great receiver. The yeah, the original let he walked so Lad McConkey could run. <laughs> That's right. Stop calling him Hunter Renfro. Everyone said. <laughs> uh, oh, also Ohio State. I don't think has been DBU recently, but they had that run around Marshawn mm -hmm. Lattimore. Um, you know those. The, Ever like, since Halfley left, they kind of trailed off as far as producing the dbs but i do think that jim Knowles has them headed back in the right direction and i also think getting what's his name caleb downs that's that's a step in the right direction 